some, some of us have had some pretty horrific things happen. I mean, stuff, because, you know, you know, I come from um, uh, Habilitat. Now, Habilitat is, these, these people in Habilitat has a drug rehab unit, and these people are what you call the experts at avoidaholism. You know, you're all avoidaholics, you're all uh, escapeaholics, and you don't want to deal with your own stuff. <clears throat> but somehow you find yourself here. There's some kind of drive saying you want to fix yourself. So here it is. Now we're dealing with individuals who have good reasons why they need to escape their pain. You know, they've been um, sexually abused, beaten, uh, horrible, th horrible things. They would escape, go to the family. So the belief system is, and the faster of tea, and it's, it's God's too, is that... Um, you're perfect when you're born, the divine spark is within you, and you survive. You take the data in, you process it, and you regurgitate. That means you act from. So that means, you know, I've got downtown Oklahoma City, and we're talking about prostitutes, and, and killers, and drug addicts, and, and, you know, of course, we look at our pious point of view, you know, why don't you just fucking stop it? <laughs> you know? It just sounds so easy. Just stop. You know, and that's what people would say to you, you know, just stop it. Why are you wasting your time? But they don't know your story. They don't know the emotional connections. They don't know the emotional driving force behind this with all the memories attached. And so when you step in there and you realize, you know, like you know, when she's incarcerated, um, she was born in an incestuous family. Everybody's fucking everybody. You know, brothers or first sexual partner, you know, and she's had several ch children that had died, you know, pr you know, uh, miscarriages that were his. All right. Now, here it is. You're raised in an environment and a culture out there in the woods, you know, downtown New York, and the whole family's like this. You're a child. You know what that child's going to do? This is normal. There's nothing wrong with this. This is normal. This is what you're supposed to do. You know, they initiate it. They deal with it. They handle it the best way they can. And then they get out in the real world and find out, God, my family's fucked up. You found that one out too, didn't you? <laughs> Isn't that right? You look back and go, God, my family was screwed up, you know. But, that's, but see, to us, that's normal because you were conditioned to survive in a situation that you know that is all there is. The weird thing is, is we have a tendency to repeat the pattern because we can't or didn't know how to go back and change the structure. And that's what Fast 50 will show you how to do is change the structure. So you're actually, you're actually consciously, you're right here, you're the trance monkey. You're, the, you're consciously saying, I want something better. But you have all these resources inside your unconscious that says, this is how it is. This is how it's always going to be. Don't break the rules or mama or daddy or somebody's going to hurt you. And so now you have, to, you have to consciously override the unconscious conditionings. And that's where the fun part begins. You don't have any time for boredom. You've got a lot of stuff. I mean, there's no room for boredom whatsoever. You just get in there and start cleaning it up. And then, of course, when you get close to stuff, you feel like you want to go eat something, drink something, smoke something, run, hide, whatever. That's how you know you're getting close to there. But you have to realize consciously this is how it works. Because, see, sometimes when you, even in this seminar here, when we're talking about this stuff, you're having physical reactions. You're having emotional reactions. That's because I'm speaking truth. And secondly, it knows it's true, too. That's why you have diarrhea. <laughs> That's why you got to run to the toilet. That's why you feel you want to puke. That's why you feel like you got headaches or it's hormonal or you're just going crazy. Because it knows we're getting close to the jackpot. And that's how it works. So uh, breaking the rules. So now it's okay. You're an adult now. You have full 100% permission to change your inner world. And if you do that, everything gets better. Well, um, I've tapped with, um, good Lord, my, now I'm getting, I'm so nervous, I'm getting blank. I tapped with Fritz, I tapped with Mark, I tapped with Simona, I tapped with Leslie, 
And the minute I got here, my legs started hurting. The pain is, it doesn't go away. I can't walk fast. I'm holding Leslie back. I just feel worthless and useless. And I don't know what to do. I keep tapping and I, I can't get rid so did, of So did you do your homework? Some of it, yeah. Some, so, so where does it start at? Where's it at? Like when you in your my, childhood, where are you? I mean, here you are. My mother always. God, I was never good enough for her. I was always going to screw something up. I was going to mess something up. I wasn't any good. And then my siblings adopted that attitude. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one. I broke all the rules. I'm the only one that went to to college. I'm the only one that went to a university. I'm the only one that had a profession. And, and now you're the, suffering from it. The, no, right? <laughs> no, right? I don't know. <laughs> I yeah. have lupus. I don't want lupus. I, and then it's not a nice disease. And I've lost so much. I've lost, a, I lost my job. My career, I mean, I, I was in, I was in charge of psych emergency for six hospitals, and look at me now, I can't even work, I live on disability, I couldn't afford this work job, I can't afford a damn thing, I can't do anything, even though I'm here, I have a hard time getting here, because we're at the West Gate, and we have to take that whatever monorail thing, and Mm -hmm. I have a hard time even getting to the monorail. I, I have been working on this for a long time. I used to walk with the walker, and I got to the point where I was walking with a cane, mm -hmm. and I had gotten rid of most of the pain. Now it's all back in its glory. It's just awful. So, so when did it all start coming back? When I got here. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You're getting close. I don't feel like it. I feel like... L listen, this is how it works. This is exactly how it works. As I said before, it's like the baby. Getting closer to bedtime, time to sleep. It's going to cry. It's going to throw a fit. It's going to do all this stuff. It's going to scream. It's going to hit the wall. Yelling. You name it. And then all of a sudden... Keep tapping. You need to be tapping. I'm going to be looking back at you. I have to look at you tapping. You cannot stop tapping unless you pass out. <laughs> and you, okay. You, see, here's, here's the truth. Now, I, the truth is, this has given you a great identity. This has given you a great identity. And I understand it. And the point is, is that people can't fix you. You can fix you. No. We can help you. But you have to, you, see, here's the deal. You kind of let go. You go back to your mother. I would just say, this is what I would do. I want you to see your mother in your head. I want you to go in your mind, and I want you to see your mother. And you keep tapping until you change your mother's words. Just do that one piece. <laughs> now your back hurts. <laughs> now, now, why would you, now here, let's look at this metaphorically. The back represents my support in life. So here it is. I say, go back to your mother. This is where it all began. And this is give her a complete life identity. This is how she supports herself. This is how she acts. She, her life is around mother. So this is where you go. So I want you to do that over and over again. I want you to step inside your mother's body. And I want you to look at you. And feel what she feels. And you tap and tell you heal mom. That's what you have to do right now. Now, how many of you actually, when you're hearing her story, it touches your story too? We have the same mother, believe it or not.